You've probably heard it somewhere that shopping can be therapeutic. Some even call it relaxing. Well, there will be two opinions on this, at least, and some of them are being treated on Sina's microblog at the moment. It's after a Huffington Post article where a Michigan University professor's paper suggested that shopping and happiness may not just be some people's opinion. It can actually reduce people's sadness. The argument is that sadness comes from a feeling of external factors controlling your life in a given situation. That control can be taken back by shopping and thereby make you happier. This has apparently been seen in experiment of actual shoppers as well. They were split into two categories of either buying things or window shopping. The buyers felt more in control as well as less sad compared to the window shoppers. Okay, and now let's take a look at some Weibo reactions to this study. I totally agree. Every time I feel sad, I go shopping. After buying something I like, I feel much happier. It's true. The idea I believed in for so many years finally gets the theoretical support. I always say husbands should support their wives' shopping habits because if they're not happy, you won't be either. This must be a plot by some company. When you go shopping, you might feel happy. But when you look at the bill and need to pay back the credit card debt, how can you get through the sadness? I want to be happy too, but the thing is you need to have enough money first. That's the big problem. Now, whether shopping makes them happy or they do it for another reason might be a topic for another day. Now, as far as Chinese consumers are concerned though, Apparently, it's not just shopping that they like. More specifically, it's online shopping. Now, in the past, China Daily actually reported that the Internet itself was what caused the retail boom in the country in the first place. It isn't even just little items and accessories being bought online, but cars as well. In fact, the first time Mercedes-Benz made its mini car, Smart, available online, all 300 units were booked in under an hour and a half. Plus, International Business Times says even people in rural parts of China are beginning to shop online, especially since some places may not have a lot of brick and mortar outlets. In Guangxi, for example, it grew by 156% just between 2012 and 2013.